Hey everyone, or should I say, hello? I'm gonna be doing that annoying voice way too much. I'm gonna try to hold off, actually. Uh, this song's such a fucking banger. I, I could have chosen a different song from the Einhunder soundtrack because that entire soundtrack is awesome, but uh, I had to choose this one. This one's too much of a bop. That's bloody battle. Bloody battles, always getting in my way. Um, and this is, does anybody remember when Gorillas like phase five or whatever, whatever humans was, I think that was phase five, uh, or it was like four or five, I think four was Plastic Beach, I'm going to stop talking about that, uh, when it was like first announced, the, the first bit of art that they ever teased was like all the members of Gorillas on these fighter jets. And it was like just in front of like a pink background on like Jamie Hewlett's Instagram, and uh, I just learned today that apparently that was uh, that was used as the inside booklet for humans, which I think I actually got that album physical, like the physical release of it. So I don't know how I didn't know that, but uh, I couldn't find a good resolution image of it. This one's kind of crusty, if you'll notice, in some of the detailed spots, but it's really cool art. Anyway, I'm gonna play Love Trousers. Uh, which is... I, I've played, like, two seconds of this game, I think. Uh, hold on. What does Steam say? Steam says 37 minutes and I've had this game open for, like, half an hour. While, while getting the stream ready. <laughs> so, like, I, I've barely played it at all. I played the original Luftrauser on Flash Game Friday, which was a Flash Graham, Flash Graham, to those of you who don't know. That just sort of slipped out. Uh... So, yeah, I'm gonna just play this. If you'll notice, I uh, just want to direct your attention to one thing here. The star on the side of this plane 
is uh, pogging. Okay, anyway. Onward to trousers. I need to snort with my nose, I'm sorry. Great. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm playing this with just keyboard. I, I tried it with controller very briefly, and I was like, eh, I feel like this is a keyboard game. Uh, but I don't... I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Uh, and, and I'm gonna go back through the tutorial real quick. I'm pretty sure I've got everything down, but we'll see. Actually, it just now occurs to me that I don't even know how to select. Okay. Let's up, press up to rouse. Use the arrow keys to turn. Got it. And shoot! Okay, so this is a dog fighting game. Which, to those of you who don't know, is that these are dogs in these airplanes. I just realized in Up, that was a joke. Oh my god. In Up, the movie Up, dogs dog fight. I never got that pun until just now. In Up, they, the, the, the dogs dog fight. Okay, oh, I guess running into that kind of did the trick, eh? Do I have health? Uh, good luck, Rouser. Did it just say stop firing to, to like, heal? Is that what that was? I missed that last one. I think... Ah. Oh. So this is a fun fucking game, though. The, what little I've played of it. I mean, Luft Rouser, I remember being awesome. Ooh. Alright, so you fall through the air. And, eh, I'm not... I'm pretty sure this is not how actual dogfighting works, but it's fine. So I guess they just tax the training onto a normal mission or something? Ah, okay, I just got hit a bunch of times. That sucked. Uh, alright. We got this guy with like a lazy eye. He's blind in one eye. This whole game is like, Nazi shit, by the way. <laughs> of course the creators of this game, Boy and Beer, are not Nazis, but that's like the vibe they're going for. Um... Stats. Yeah, so here's... <coughs> here's time. 112. Oh, that was just the last. Total. Total time. 116. So presumably I've had this... I've had this game open for an entire hour in my life, actually. I stand corrected. Alright. And then I've got this. I'm gonna stick with the normal ship for now. I think. Uh, is this... Good, like, volume, see everything in, uh... Everything alright? Everybody, everybody vibing? Uh, up, launch. Okay. So we've got, like, achievements here. It's basically just, like, keep doing it until you get stuff. I don't know how... Are the skulls, like, a difficulty ranking? Okay. Anyway. I, I can see how someone would find this whole thing questionable. Ah, oh good. Um, I don't know. I think it's, it's supposed to not be taken quite so seriously. Wow, they, they are throwing a lot at me. I couldn't find a way to like reset my save file. So I feel like the difficulty is not at like level one. You know? This is like post having done a little bit of stuff, so I'm gonna need to get acclimated in, uh, in a tough environment here. Maybe I need to, uh, change out my ship parts. Okay. Let's just avoid that whole volley. E. I, I do love the effect when you go near the water and it's like, whoosh. Huh. Okay. Oh, that is a ship. I remember these ships take fucking a million hits to kill. You kinda need to like fly by with them. Because you're still a plane. I think you can touch the water, but it's not good for you. Whoa. Okay. Uh, so I need to like heal by not shooting for a while. I think. Uh, chat, correct me if I'm wrong there. Fuck! And I think you can tell how damaged my ship is just by, uh... How much, like, shit is falling off of it. 
Yoi, okay. I'm gonna take it easy. Okay, I'm gonna go in the water. That's fine. Can you do that? Imagine if you could do that. I, I don't think real fighter jets can do that. My aim is not great. Oh, oh, just go through here. Let's just sneak through here and heal. Oh. There's a lot of bullets. So it's like kind of bullet hell -y, but uh, your, your controls are not nearly as straightforward as a normal bullet hell. Come on. No. Okay, I got one of them. Okay, that's it. Fuck. Oh, oh. I like the doctor guy. He's like, ah, yes, this is the guy. They had this exact same stereotype in The Mandalorian. You can death go in the water. I'm talking, like, in real life. In, a, in one of these fighter jets? I don't know if that's a thing. If you can do it like a, like a, a, a seagull diving for food. But like, in The Mandalorian, there was this exact character, basically, where he was like, Ah yes, we will do some evil experiments on the baby Yoda! Mm. It was Werner Herzog's uh, little toady. Okay, uh, what do we got here? Sorry, let me... Uh, X, customize, there we go. Um, weapon, laser! That's, I think that's the only other one I have unlocked. And then body armor. I remember that sucked, actually. It's like you can tank a bunch of hits, but uh, your movement is terrible. Very high speeds, slow boost turning. Let's try that normal thing, the laser. Okay. If you so much as skimmed water in a fighter plane, the wings would we get ripped off instantly. That's, that's more what I would figure. Okay. That is quite loud music, and then it just goes to silence. Kill 80 enemies in total. Okay, so I already I got one of those while I was doing that, and I didn't even notice. It's This is going to be one of those ones where it's going to be hard to look at chat. It's going to be hard to... Uh, <laughs> someone said you can go in the water, but you can't come out. <laughs> it's going to be hard to... Uh, keep track of things, so forgive me. Okay, I got the fucking laser now, though. Yo, it's like, this feels... It must not do a lot of damage or something, right? Because otherwise I could just, like, spin in a circle and win. Okay, that's good. Literally spin to win. Holy fuck. Okay, well, so far the windshield wiper method is not working. Oh, my turning is awful when I'm, when I'm, uh, actually accelerating, I see. That's what they meant by slow boost turning. It's, sometimes it's hard to tell in those, like, brief descriptions exactly what they mean. Okay. You heal quite quick. Get him. Okay, yeah, it doesn't, like, instantly wipe them out or anything. Alright, can I just get these ships, like, straight on? God, yeah, the turning is so fucked. Oh, I should stop shooting. So that I can heal. <laughs> oh god. I see. So there's like a little there's a little radius that appears around you that shows when you're healing. This is uh this is not how whoa, okay. There's six enemies while undamaged, sweet. Oh look at all those numbers. I don't even know, are those enemies over here? Okay. Ooh. 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 You do feel cool when you actually dodge shit in this game, it's just uh, not all the time. I remember the Flash game was fairly easy when I was playing it. And I just felt awesome all the time. That was pretty cool. Okay, and I'm about to die. Oh, <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have just, like, tumbled to the ground. What the fuck is that? What is this? This is the, it's the fucking, like, conspiracy plane from those YouTube videos. You guys know the conspir- like, the black angel of death or whatever the fuck? Okay, I- that was a bad decision. Okay, okay, okay. Air superiority, what the fuck? I don't know what that means, but... 
All right, I just got an achievement. Cool. Cool. <laughs> okay, it's time to go kill these fucking ships, mate. Just, just beam my laser over there and just do some damage, man. Oh! Oh shit! I'm about to die. Yep. Oh, I got a special little cutscene. Okay, weird. I, I realized at a certain moment, I was like, oh, I'm fucked. Which I'm sure that's how it happens in a plane. It's like, ah, shit. <laughs> what is the name of that plane? The, like, famous... I'm gonna Google famous black spy plane. SR-71 Blackbird. No. What's the one in the fucking, like, conspiracy pictures? You- someone knows. The weird, like, it's like an un unidentified object. Why is this? I swear this is a thing I've seen like a million times and I don't even care about that sort of shit. So I don't know how it's not. Okay, whatever. I, I, I googled a very specific thing. U-2. U2 Spy Plane. Is this a song by U2? Uh, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. I kind of like the laser, it, but it, it has drawbacks. I, I'm not so sure about this engine. I think I'm gonna try one more time with this engine and then... Uh, Retry. Uh, so the enemies, I think they're constantly spawning in, and thus I should, uh... I should get on it with killing these things. Okay. My, uh, it seems like my health is constantly drained when I go into the water, so I just need to be careful with it. Um, I, I'm gonna, okay, screw this fucking engine. I don't like it. Back to normal, but use the laser. That's good shit. Music sounds like lasers. God damn it. Okay. <clears throat> it's an interesting way they did, like, HUD elements. So I can just, like, sort of aim in the general direction of numbers sometimes and, and be fine. Or not be fine, but get some stuff done. Let's, let's try it. Yeah! Alright, come on. Head on! I think I'll attack him. Head on! I think I'll attack him. Fuck. Oh, there's a lot going on. I'm gonna get out of here! Ooh! Leave. This game's fun as fuck, though. I'm, I'm having a blast. Even if I'm getting my dick knocked off. I might not be the best at this. Oh. But... It is fun as shit, though. For the brief moments where I am alive, I just, like, tanked hitting another plane. Another entire goddamn plane. Uh. Alright, windshield wipe. Yeah, the laser somehow does not hit sometimes, and I don't like that. Come on, get him. Get out of here. Ooh! That was the fucking spy plane. Th there's like a famous, I swear, there's like a famous picture of this, like, weird black, it almost looks like a spaceship thing. It doesn't even really look like a plane that much in the picture. That it just looks like unnaturally, like, hanging in the air. Oh, God. Above the Earth, in, like, the stratosphere. Whatever. It, so, do you, can you win this game, or is it just arcade-style? Just do it forever. I, I assume there's probably, like, you get all the, all the upgrades or whatever. Oh my god. Spread. Ooh. Heavy kickback. <laughs> Can we fly with that then? If we shoot down, do we go up? Kill six boats in one game. Yeah, I kind of wrecked the boats there. It was one difficulty, but whatever. I feel good. I, I don't know if I'm going to play this multiple times or if this is going to be a one-off, by the way. This might be just one where I... Take a little look at it, have my fun, and then get the hell out. <coughs> like, uh, hold on, maybe a conspiracy plane. 
no. I'm gonna stop. I, I'm, it's just showing me 9-11. Whatever. Okay. I don't want to look at 9-11 right now. We're always playing the fucking, like, sketchy Nazi game. Oh, shit. Let me go to the hangar. Um, so I kind of want to try the spread shot. Might as well. And I, I just like the classic engines, honestly. Okay. Heavy kickback, they say. Wow, wow, wow. All right. That's pretty cool. This is like uh, Contra. I'm getting flashbacks to Contra, where the, the spread shot is like by far the fucking best one. Those old games, the balance of the weapons is always fucked. Ghosts and goblins. Knife. Oh god. Oh, I am shocked that I'm alive. Okay. Uh, completed achievement. I, I was gonna say, if I manage to get hit by that bullet, then I deserve to die. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Oh! Okay, those hurt. When, when, when just an entire plane crashes into you, you feel it, man. So this is by Vlambeer, by the way. A uh, really cool team of designers, and they recently just called it quits. They were like, yeah, we're just done. We're just not gonna make games anymore. Which, uh, I think it was like... They were like, we, we've been doing this for like exactly ten years, and that's kind of a good place to call it. You know, I, I think they never- oh god. I, I think they- they reached moderate success with some of their games, but I, I don't think they were ever like- they ever made like an Omega hit. So I think at a certain point they were just like, yeah, hey, we're just gonna, you know, move on with our lives. Uh, and so... I, I, in the same way that like I kind of admired Daft Punk for just calling it quits, I was like, you know what? That's good. Call it quits before it just like gets stale for you, before you like are doing it out of like obligation. Fuck, that thing takes a fuck ton of hits. That thing takes a lot of hits. Damn. But uh, they, they also made what are some other games we played? Super Crate Box. Uh, I swear we played a couple others by them. Uh, I will play. Uh, Nuclear Throne at some point. That's probably their most famous game. And then... I'm having difficulty even remembering. Whatever. Uh, score a total of 30,000 points to get to the next level. I, I, I appreciate the info about the plane things, but I, we, I... You gotta look at it from my perspective. I've got like a trillion different like suggestions in chat. I can't go like in, investigate each one. I'll, I'll look it up after the stream. I learned fucking Sonic Waku Waku Patrol Car. There was more to the game in the sense that it was like a little ride that you were supposed to ride inside, and I just had the, the, the game component of it. It was like a little car you were supposed to get in. Often I learned things after the stream, just googling shit. Okay. Okay. Um, result. I got two achievements there. Ooh, and one of them was uh, kind of difficult, but that was like an in total one. Hades achievement. Where you're just, like, destined to get it. Okay. I think Blasphemous is on the list. I own that game. I got it in a bundle ages ago. Okay, okay, okay. I'm glad you just instantly kill planes by crashing into them. It, you know, it's good to be the guy with contact damage for once. Who can just shake off. It's like, yeah. Yeah, the enemies get damaged when they touch you. Fuck them. Fuck them. That's, that's such, that's, that feels so like non-standard for video games. And it doesn't make any sense because fighter jets can't even like repair themselves, but whatever. I, I feel like, you know, they could probably repair, do some slap shot repairs in the heat of battle, I guess, but, like, they can't just shake off hitting another plane. But it, it makes for fun gameplay. They, they always have really, like, visceral, punchy, awesome, like, effects. Screen shake might be a bit much for some people, but I like it. I think Nuclear Throne is, like, the worst... the most screen shaky. I'm not gonna say the worst. But it is definitely the most, uh, biggest example of that. Oh, can I kill their bullets with my bullets? 
Modern problems, modern solutions. I'm really not hitting a lot of shit right now. Okay, well, I, I, you know, in a sense I'm hitting things. Enemy bullets with my body. Huh. Oh! Oh! Okay. I've been ignoring the, the boats, and this is going to come back to kill me. Okay, get me out of here. The spread shot is good up close, but... I don't know, I don't know about how it lets me handle the boats! I'd get backseated to hell on Blasphemous? Oh no, what a nightmare. My life. I live this nightmare every day. Ooh. Kill a blimp to unlock this mission. Alright. By the way, back when Vlambeer like, called it quits, this was like a few months ago. I was like, oh, I'll play Vlambeer games tomorrow. I'll play like Luff Trousers or something. And then I, I never did. Finally got around to doing it. Ooh. Kill three boats while undamaged. That's never gonna happen, ever. Um, score over 5,000. I almost said 50,000. Uh, kinda wanna go back to the laser, but let's try the spread shot one more time. Because I accidentally hit up instead of hitting X there. <laughs> spread shot's okay. Oh god. I'm getting hit a lot. I'm getting hit a lot. Okay. Might as well just go with the flow at this point. I'm doing what's called going against the grain. You never want to go against the grain with certain things. In in Boy Scouts, uh, they teach you how to wipe your ass with a pine cone, for instance. Never, ever go against the grain when you're wiping your ass with a pine cone. Ever. That's a lesson you learn in Boy Scouts. Like, don't pee the fire out. Do not piss on the fire to put it out. It's real funny until it gets real stinky. <laughs> um. <laughs> Die. Oh, God. I don't like it for the boats, because it's hard to get up close to them and just spam shots into them. Kind of have to do it from a distance, or make passes, you know? It's cool. I, I do like how it's like, yeah, you kind of have to... You know what I almost put on for the intro here? Oh, fuck. I'm dead. This guy's here. Melancholy Hill. Oh, shit, I killed him. Let's kill a blimp now, please. Let's find a blimp. Oh! <laughs> Survive! 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 Oh god. I forgot what I was even fucking talking about. Uh, no, there's like Melancholy Hill. In the music video, there's dog fighters. There's that one guy that goes like, you know the th You know the guy I'm talking about? He does a weird thing with his mouth. Bitch. Okay, the, the remaining things are these insane boats. That, that destroy my shit. Oh god. Ooh. Okay, now I'm going to the hangar and uh, uh, I'm gonna go back to the laser. I like the laser. It actually isn't Murdoch in the plane. It's just like a dude who gets like murdered in cold blood. I think. I died. You feel it when you die in this game too. It feels truly tragic. Yeah, so the laser does some steady damage. But also is a laser. Fuck. Pretty okay. Oh, I gotta itch my nose. Okay, there we go. And when I see boats, I can, uh, I can get him a lot more easily this time. Okay, oh, okay, survive. Get these guys off my ass. Oh! You know what was a surprisingly competent dogfighting game? Was a Top Gun on the NES. And I know this is a moment where probably many people are like, Oh god, who gives a shit about Top Gun on the NES? But it's weird. It's like surprisingly good 
3 d it like simulates the whole 3D effect pretty well. It's like a first person plane shooter. It's very bizarre. Oh, I'm dead. Yep. Uh, but it's, it's like weirdly fun until you get to the landing sequence or the refueling sequence and then it's just like, you're fucked, mate. Unless, unless you have a, uh, unless you have Game Genie. Or, I, one time, I have got the ship to land. One time, I've got it to land on the aircraft carrier. A single time. And it's like, man, that game could be like a fucking classic if it, if you could get past the first level. Like, you know, more than one out of a hundred fucking times. Okay, I probably haven't tried that play, tr tried that game a uh, hundred times. That's maybe a bit of an exaggeration. Kill an ace. That's not cool. Okay, whatever. And then score. That's another like engine, I assume, or something. Kill a blimp to unlock this mission. So that's just to get the fucking privilege of even seeing what that mission is. Having the opportunity to do it. I see. Huh. Uh. The health... One thing that I feel like I, did, I didn't even understand the first time I played this was that the health is very forgiving. You heal quite quickly. Alright, let's get one of these big fucking boats. Come on! No! Okay, I screwed it up big time. Big time. I'm talking... Uh, like, all the way. 100% screwed. E. Come on. I can, like, skip across the surface of the water. I can literally do that. Fuck, I don't know what I was doing there. Uh, alright. Let's stop clowning around so much. As much as I was before. There's no ammo either. Wow, we're just gracefully, balletically twirling around in the air shooting a laser. And then I think every time you heal, it ends your combo. Kind of, uh... Hotline Miami-esque. Hotline Miami, it was just on a timer, though. I severely misjudged where my laser was aimed. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Is that like a stealth bomber and it, the bomb went off or something? Beat go off? Oh, uh, okay. That's fine. Maybe I should do the big tank thing and just, like, run into some big ships, you know? God damn it. I'm about to die. Yep. Okay. I always... Uh, there's never been an unexpected death. Or at least I always see it coming a second beforehand and it's, it's too late. Um, let me try the big beefy one. I kind of remember this one sucked. It was like I played a bit with this one and then I was like, that sucks. Uh, do I want the spread shot? Because I'm going to be up close. Let's try this. Strategy. Strategery. Alright, I'm the big boy. Big! Big! Okay. I still gotta be careful. <laughs> and you heal slower, too. I think when you go in the water, it's not the same as taking damage, too. It's not like you have to heal it. Kind of like uh, like Half-Life water damage with the drowning. Where when you get to the surface, or like Mario 64. You get to the surface and you're like, yeah! Okay. Me, I, I'm just gonna run into one of these big ships and see if I can do it. But it's, oh, that's probably not a great idea because it's, it's probably gonna be shooting bullets at me. Well, too late now. 
Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna stop shooting for a second. It's just kind of like, yeah, you can hit me. I, I can't like move very much, but uh, I've also got so much health that I can just deal with it. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. That's fine. I'm. F you know what? I'm fine with that. <laughs> it's, it's literally more effective to just let them run into me. Max. I got the score achievement. That's good. Strategery worked out in the end. Huh. Okay, time to stop shooting for a second. Oh, oh I, this might be a little dangerous. Jesus, you, you can tank so much in this one. There's no big ships yet. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh god, what is that? Square bullets coming from above? These are like boat bullets. Is that a blimp? Yeah, it's a blimp. Oh! <gasps> okay, kill these missiles, please. Oh god. I would be dead so many fucking times over, even if I was in the more like nimble dodging ship, you know? Oh god. It's like, just, I don't know, just keep tanking the hits. Shooting up. Oh god. Speaking of shooting up, uh, I got my COVID shot today. Pretty cool. Oh, did I do it? Did I kill it? Oh fuck, no! I don't think I killed it. Fuck! Melee. No impact damage, less health. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Oh, I think I did. Did I kill it? I must have killed a blimp, because it unlocked the thing. Kill six jets in total. When you're a jet, you're a jet, or whatever. Um, so what the fuck is this shit? Kozilek. Isn't that somebody who does, like, the music for, like, Hotline Miami 2 or some shit? The dog. I didn't even notice these had names. Spreadrouser. Melee. That is pretty funny. I gotta try this out. Uh... Alright. Spread shot. <laughs> so I just run into things then. Okay, oh, but I have so much less health. I have so much less health. I can't, like, take a shot. Speaking of COVID shot. That's pretty brutal. So I selected the music for this game in Nuclear Throne. Yeah, okay. And Fall Guys? I didn't know that. I knew the name rang a bell. Nuclear Throne's got some jams. Fuck. Okay. Right, big boat. Oh, I'm fucked. Maybe. Touch it. Touch it. Contact damage. Am I hitting it? There was like lag. There was hit lag. Fuck. <laughs> I don't think that's actually doing anything. It seems like it's hitting it. Did I do it? Yeah! See superiority. Hell yeah. Let's fucking go. I defeated that big boat merely by touch. By touching it. Oh shit, I'm about to die. Probably. Possibly. Ba -ba -bum -ba -ba. Ba -bum -ba -ba. Okay, so every time I get one of those achievements, I get a weird little cutscene thingy. Oh, yeah, it was the, uh... 
was called like Moldova or whatever. It's a Pokemon or something. I don't know. It, it, it was not Johnson and Johnson. They were like, I was scheduled to get the Johnson and Johnson one. Then like two people got a blood clot from it or something. And uh, it was like six people. And then uh, they, I think they changed it. Moderna, that's probably what it is. Moldova is the name of a country. <laughs> it's a Pokemon. Uh, it's <laughs> but uh, when I went in there, the lady was like, all right, sit down there. Uh, I'll, I'll get the thing ready. And uh, I was like, so this is, and she was like, yeah, Moderna. Yeah, it's not Johnson & Johnson. And I was like, sorry, I, I'm sure you got asked that question every single time today. The people who administer those shots, it's... It, I could never be a nurse or anything like that. It's that's it's just got to be, be so stressful all the time to have people's wellness in your hands. Okay, good. That was a good run. Solid run. Solid, good, excellent run. Let's fucking destroy some boats. Okay, never mind. This is a good run. The guy, did, the guy didn't even have a chance to come in the room. He was like, hello? Oh. Dead. Moldova is, the, is a Zelda enemy, by the way. People are saying. Huh. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen like a, a recent sort of like, on like social media sometimes people will be like, oh, people become nurses because they're abusive, or whatever, and it's like, I'm sure so I'm sure that happens sometimes, I guess. You know, the world is not so black and white, but, uh... Of all the people in the world to be critiquing, are we really attacking nurses right now? Like, huh? Their job is just, it just seems hellish, the kind of shit they gotta do. And yeah, they don't get paid great, just like teachers. Hmm. Well, this is fun as fuck, though. Ooh, well, I saw a discussion online at one point. It was a, it was an excellent YouTube comments discussion. Yeah, where, uh, I like the melee ship, it's kind of funny. Uh... It was something about, like... The argument was whether or not homeless people are lazy. And, and, and one side of the argument was like, Oh yeah, I just think all homeless people... Anyone homeless is just lazy, and circumstance has nothing to do with it. And, uh, you know, that's just every single one, I condemn them all. Or other people going, no, every single homeless person has a, a perfectly good reason for being homeless. And I'm like, it, surely this is a world with enough people that there are plenty of both of situations, you know? Like, right? Are we five years old? Whatever. It's like, I'm sure there's plenty of, like, perfectly virtuous and perfectly fucking douchey homeless people. Just like everyone else. Whatever. It was a very bizarre discussion. Okay, I think... They, like, they shake. They, there's a little explosion happens when they're, like, half dead, I think. Oh, man. Surely the world is big enough. Can I go destroy my own ship? No, my own ship instantly disappears. Ooh. I really do like that water effect. It's pretty simple, too, but it, it works. Okay. <laughs> uh. Someone said last time I tried to help a homeless person by giving him a donut, he declined it. You realize you are Homer Simpson from The Simpsons, right? That is an actual, like, is that a bit from The Simpsons? Is that something they do in the show?
Carl Pilkington was telling a story at one point about how he didn't tip very much in a restaurant in America, and the waiter gave him back the tip. Because it was like a tip of like a dollar and forty cents or something. And the waiter was like, here, you can have this back since it's such a fucking tiny amount or whatever. And Carl was just like, oh yeah, cheers. It's like, ah, oh, man. I, I, I was like, man, it, it, it kind of sucks, you know? How would you explain this to a foreigner? It's like, yeah, uh, food service is just totally fucked in the States. It's just completely fucked, and so... Uh, you, are, you are almost, like, taking money from waiters by not tipping the proper amount in America. And it's like, yeah, nobody likes doing it. The waiters don't like having to rely on it. But it is a thing. And, and it's not the waiter's fault, you know? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sick music, too. Ooh. Ba -ba -ba. And see, in Reservoir Dogs... In Reservoir Dogs, tipping wasn't nearly as fucked as it is now. Thus, Mr. Pink could get away with his smug little speech. Kill it. Kill it by touch. Okay, I'm dead. Nope! Not yet! Nice. <laughs> Alright. The touch police are here. Oh! It's time to get touched, boat. It's time to get touched. Okay. So I, I guess if anybody doesn't know, uh, what they do nowadays, I think at most restaurants, uh, is all the tips that everyone gets are pooled together and then distributed evenly out to everyone, and that's a chunk of your wage. So sometimes if you don't make enough tips, you can make less than minimum wage, which minimum wage is already really stupidly low. It's it, not as stupidly low as it used to be. So basically they've taken, it's supposed to be just a little like, oh, you know, that was good service, you know, here, have a, have a little extra cash, to it is essential to, like, the fucking, like, well-being of the people working there. So, yep. Pretty fun. Pretty fun stuff. The more you know. It does depend based on the business. You can't actually make less than minimum wage, but the people can count your tips against your paycheck. Yeah, I guess that's true. But yeah, it's uh, still pretty fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Shit's terrible. Oh, is this like an extra boost? What is this? There's like an alternate boost button besides just pressing up. Okay. I guess that's if you're playing it in gamer mode. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I even meant by that. Oh, by the way, the Peggle 2 video was at, supposed to be out by today, but it's just, it's been quite a, quite a beast to edit. I think it will be out tomorrow, but uh, please don't riot in the streets if there's just not a video this week. I try to have there be videos every single week, but uh, sometimes this is not possible. <gasps> it's going to be about an hour long, maybe a little more. Fuck. I think this will be a one-off, by the way, Left Trousers. Like, I'm enjoying it, but I don't see myself playing it for ages. Probably won't unlock everything. Oh shit, it's this guy. Kill him. Okay. Oh, I started shooting for a second. That was my downfall. Ah. Ah. Kill ten enemies without ever firing. I gotta do that. Kill three boats while undamaged. So that's not without taking damage. That's just while undamaged. It's kind of arbitrary. Just, I'll eventually get it. And then get a max combo. 420! Weed, weed, weed! Okay. Kill 10 enemies without ever firing. How about use the, like, tank... Or no, you can't use the tank body and the melee body. Right. I, for, for some reason, I thought the melee was, like, the weapon. But no, that's not the case. So, I'm not gonna shoot at all. This, this should be pretty easy to get, actually. I think. Maybe. Oh, by the way, uh, tomorrow... 
I'm pretty sure Andrew and I are going to start streaming Shadow of the Colossus, which I'm really excited for. He is too, uh, and you should be. Is that game sick? We're gonna do the uh, the PS4 HD. I said we were gonna wait until I got a PS5 to do that, but I lied. I'm a liar sometimes. So I've played like half of that game before. Andrew has never played it at all, I think. I think he said he's played like a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of it at a friend's house or something like that. But I'm a big fan of it. What what part of it I did play. Uh, oh, oh god. Okay. Whoops. No, not Shadow the Hedgehog. The, my one big issue with that game is the controls, and I, I heard that they just didn't fix them in the PS4 remake. Which I was like, great, wonderful, thank you for not fixing the controls. They, a little too much effort was maybe put into making it feel like cinematic to play rather than uh, making it feel satisfying to control, I think, is, is my main issue with it. And it's, it's like fine, it's something you can get around. And it doesn't, like, ruin the game, but it kind of ruins parts of the game. <laughs> Hell yeah. There we go. I like the little challenges and shit. Ah. Whoa. I think the PS3 version is better. I didn't even know there was a PS3 version. Or did you mean to say, uh, PS4? Uh, what does Luftrausers even mean? I know uh, there was music from Einhander, which means one-handed, but I don't know what Luftrausers is. There's a PS3, it's just the PS2 version in HD. Huh. Didn't know about that. I figure it wouldn't be another entire remake like the PS4 one. It's just like they just keep remaking it from the ground up. What madmen. Destroyed by touch. Shoot and then touch. Oh god. I could have survived there, but I didn't do it. Luft is air. And I'm not getting any answers on rousers. I'm gonna assume, like, they slice the air or some shit like that. Air routers. <laughs> Alright. Uh, can I refresh these challenges? There we go. Kill 30 boats in total. Okay. And is that just with the melee thing? Hmm. Uh, okay. Sure. I like my current build, actually. The melee ship is super... It's, of course, very squishy, as they say. Uh, for instance, I just died by getting hit twice. But when you get a good thing going, you get a good thing going. I might- I think I'm gonna switch off of it soon, though, that being said. Because I wanna- I'm gonna go back to the main, the normal, the classic original. I don't want the super, like, clunky, uh, super clunky huge one, and I don't want the, uh, Like, nimble, squishy one. Okay. Nimble, high damage output. Okay. God damn it. Oh, oh. Maybe the, uh... Maybe the laser would be better for this configuration as well. Also, I feel like it's good to, like, get a few of them on your tail and then just turn around and wreck them. Oh, God. This does not compromise your bullet damage, uh, which I almost feel like intuitively it should, but it does not. I need to get the max combo. I need to kill boats. <laughs> I just love the, the just... The whole premise of just like killing something just by existing. And it just can't handle it. I feel like, again, con having contact damage is so uncommon. As the protagonist of a game. Nice. Okay, at least I killed a boat.
Alright. I still haven't got any boats while undamaged. Th what did I say about that one? I'm never gonna get that. 420. Okay. Uh, let's... No, oh fuck, I always do that. Okay, whatever. I know I could go back to the hangar from there, but... Let's just do this one more time. I'm also, like, super, like, indecisive. On top of accidentally pressing buttons. Okay, well, now that's a good opportunity. Alright, um, hangar. X. Spread shot, I'm not so sure about. I kind of really like the laser. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go with this for a bit. Oh, kill a blimp to unlock this mission. Is that like, so that's like a scripted event that happens every once in a while then. And that's what the, like the little cutscene plays and shit. I shit a ship. My ship sails in the morning. Okay. I might go for the heavy body again, actually. Oh, Jesse the Body Ventura! Jesse the Body Ventura. Alright, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? People are gonna fall down. Pet detective! Pet detective! Nobody's done that before. Nobody's thought of this. God damn it. Jesse the Body Ventura. Pet detective. I'm sure, if you Google search that, I'm sure somebody's done it. Let's try just skimming the water. Look for boats. This is, in a way, relaxing. Skipping across the water like a stone on a pond. Oh! Is that- oh, is there a blimp up there, maybe? Shooting bombs. Or something? No, I think that was just a spy plane that went down. Oh. Oh! Uh. Uh. Oh my god! Multi kill. Jesus. Oh god. Thank god for German engineering. Makes my plane just superior to all the other ones, but not boats. Cool. Very cool. Get a max combo. Alright, kill an ace. By the way, I still haven't done that. I think I'm gonna stick with, uh, my current build. I like how it shows you what kind of plane you were when your, uh, when your best run happened. Which is kind of what's making me think I gotta switch to the body Ventura over here. Uh! Oh. Oh! I'm just tanking the hits. Uh, this is the, the, all the, like, the melee thing and all that. It all taught me to just go in and tank the hits. You'll be fine. You'll be fucking fine. Just go in and tank that shit. Except for that one. Except for that one. Those big boats are where that rule breaks down. Somewhat. Mm. Spin. Okay. Fuck. Should've stopped shooting. Whew. Yeah, I'll probably just do this for like an hour and a half or something. I don't know, I, I need to get back around to editing, uh, I need to set up Shadow of the Colossus to stream. It sucks, I had this issue recently, uh, I was gonna do a stream with Mitchell and I was gonna do a stream with Lark on old consoles, but apparently my new fancy capture card gets all fucked up with the signal from old consoles. And I already have a little box that I feed the video through, but apparently that box is not enough or something? Uh, it, by the way, incidentally, if anybody out there by any chance has any experience with that sort of thing, feel free to like DM me on Twitter or whatever and let me know if there's like a solution beyond buying, because I'm looking into buying this thing called a Retro Tink, uh, it's like called like a 2M or some shit like that, it's a different little box to feed the AV through and have it come out as HDMI, so I can feed it into my Elgato capture card, 
which is an HD 60S Plus. If anybody knows about that sort of shit, how to get retro consoles to work on there, please do let me know. But I, I think I might need to buy a new gadget. It's weird. I, I, it, it freaked me out because I thought that my capture card was just broken, but then I tried it with my Switch and it worked fine and I was like, okay. Well, that sucks. I actually bought a second capture card because I thought it was broken. Uh, cause I tried it with- I tried it with multiple different consoles. I just didn't figure that it was like all retro consoles are now off limits. And so, uh... But the solution to this, instead of returning the other capture card, I know Lark is interested in getting one as well. Cool. So I was like, hey, you wanna buy this? Off of me? So he's buying it off of me. So that he can play Skyward Sword when it comes out. When the, when the remaster, you know, open quotes, comes out. Uh, you know what would make this a little better? Zoomed out camera. The, the laser would be so OP with a zoomed out camera. Get the holy mountain in here. Oh god. Zoom out camera. Huh. Huh. Alright, kill him. That's good. Yeah, murder! Doesn't matter, I died. I murdered them. Oh, do I, am I even killing boats anymore? I think I already got that one. Shit. Get a max combo. <clears throat> yeah, it would be cool to have, like, the HUD indi indication of like where-ish the enemies are, like a little Smash Bros thing, you know? God, there's so much shit to unlock, though. Let's go with this. This is the stream that it was on, or this is the, <laughs> this is the uh, build that it was on when I started the stream, or when I, maybe when I opened the game to prepare it for streaming. Meow. Yeah. Get their asses. Nice. Nice. Doesn't matter, got kills. Doesn't matter, got kills. Oh shit. Might start mattering. <laughs> this is such an unconventional dog fighting technique. The tank! I love how the planes, the enemy planes just try to run into you too. Get a max combo. Boom. Easy. Easily done. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh! Uh, I saw that coming, but there was not a lot I could have done about it. Gungeon! Oh, shit. I'm finally gonna play Gungeon, guys. You asked for it, and you're finally gonna get it. Incredible. Lasers out one side, bullets out the other. Incredible. Uh, it doesn't even shoot that much. It's kind of funny though. I kind of dig it, because I can just run away now. God, this is a game changer. The run away strat. Or just- oh, I can just hover above a thing and just shit bullets into it. I feel like these are just for, like, coverage though. Just to keep some guys off your ass. I kind of like it. it. You move forward very slowly in short bursts. <laughs> Music changed too. Somebody was saying the missions are dependent on my my ship parts. By the way, and I'm wondering if the music maybe changes depending on it too. Ah. Oh god. Get them off my ass. Ooh. Yeah, sorry. Twitch doesn't like you saying Joseph Joestar quotes. Even though it's just Japanese, guys. <gasps> Get him. Max combo. Die! Die! Oh! 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 
There's so much happening. Die! <laughs> oh! I'm dead. Right? Right? Surely! Surely! Unkillable! Fucking unkillable! Oh god. No, he will be killed. That was awesome, though. <laughs> B-17 Palmer. Now there's a video game. Oh, I'm fucked now. Yeah. Once I was down there, I was... fucked. Missiles. Homing missiles. Max 4 active. Okay. That's interesting. I feel like, uh... Actually, yeah, fuck it. Kinda like this. Alright, cool. That should be good for boats. Right? I mean... That's gotta wreck boats. Maybe not. We'll see. Oh, they come back down, too, if you shoot them straight up. Oh, shit. <laughs> so they can go off screen and still be active. And they're not amazing for the boats, I guess. Hell yeah. There's a, I like the weapon variety. Normally I'm a guy who likes to stick to the bread and butter weapons, but this is the type of game where they really, I think, encourage you to mix it up. <laughs> it's fun to just have like a different strategy entirely. Oh god. <laughs> You can barely get off the ground. This is Jabba the Hutt as a Mandalorian. With the jetpacks. Barely keeping him off the ground. Oh, just kill it, please. No. Oh. Uh, someone said, oh, never seen this game. What is it about? Uh, nothing. It's not about, not about anything. Not a Nazi game, that's for sure. That is for goddamn sure. I'm gonna go for the, uh normal body actually it is this is not a nazi game new no siri uh, uh, not here at least <laughs> did you guys see any nazi games no not i said the cow or whatever i made shepherd's pie last night speaking of cow or as as some people call it cowboy pie which is weird because i don't I, I just use substitution cowboys i think it's weird to put real cowboys in it I like just seeing, just idly killing enemies with my ass bullets. Extra maneuverability makes these missiles better. Get him. Oh! Oh shit. Get out of there. Oh, there's two of them. Great. Great. That's what we want to see happen to me. Missiles.exe has been downloaded. Fuck. Oh, I'm fucked. Yep. Okay. Good. Yeah, I think a lot of comparisons to Papers, Please would be drawn. Somebody earlier said it. You know, like, this really reminds me of Papers, Please. It's like, yeah, the general, like, stark, simplistic colors art style. Like, everything on this screen is just different shades of red, you know? Uh, and, and, like, pixel art, and it's vaguely, like... Middle European, sort of, like, fascist-themed. Hmm. Ah. But yes, I think this will just be a fun one-off. <laughs> I'm sure there's cool shit to unlock, but, uh... I don't know. When you play a game, you make a decision to get super into it or to uh, move on with your life, and this one is feeling like a move on with my life. Even though I'm, I'm having a blast. It's fun. Fun game. Ooh. Oh shit. But I'm sorry, I might not ever see the end of like the critical mission path. Okay. Hmm. 
Yeah, there's, uh, there's, there's color filters, right? I don't, I think you have to unlock those though, right? Original. Yeah, zero out of X. Yeah, I think I need to unlock them. And then cutscene zero out of, what? Oh, okay. First part. Oh shit, we probably didn't even see this. Yeah, we didn't even see this because this played when I first opened the game. Oh, good. Oh, stop. Okay, shit. <laughs> yeah, all these Vlambeer games, they're good just like, yeah, play it for a bit. Super Crate Box is a great game to just like play for like an hour and then do something else. And that's not to say that they're bad, they're just kind of, uh, they're more digestible. Locked, I see. So it doesn't seem like we're missing too much. All parts. Okay. It's probably not going to be much completion shit. Um, not quit game. How do I just get out of here? Oh, press O back. I see. Press up launch. Oh, I'm not sure how I feel about the missiles, by the way. Oh! Did bullets just come out of nothing? What was that? Oh, that was that boat. I, for some reason, I thought they just spawned in midair. They just spawned near the end, edge of the screen. I mean, the missiles, they, they have their advantages. Maybe the, maybe the beefy body. But that was, that's what I was starting out with, and it... Oh, it's kind of hard to use them with the beefy body. Maybe, oh, maybe have an actual fucking uh, engine that makes me go fast. I kind of forgot that this thing is making me go slow until I had to go fast. Uh, kill me. Okay. Rain hell from above. Oh, oh. Really what Luff Trousers means is that they love trousers. They are a big fan of Pant... Anthony Pantano. I... This is slop coming out of my mouth. That was slop riffing. Did I just see the... Oh, it's... Some of these spy planes are just bobbing in midair. Kill a jet at max combo. Kill 20 enemies boosting non-stop. Good god. That's definitely for the gunship. I see. I just thought that the little icon there was like the recommended one or like the theme of the thing, you know. Oh god, I've got the sore arm from the COVID shot. I was like, am I gonna feel like symptoms or anything? And she was like, it'll feel like I stabbed a needle into your arm. <laughs> I was like, fair enough. And then like, it was like flu shot-esque. It just feels a little sore. Actually, Andrew got his COVID shot today, too. He was saying today is his day off, and he's, he's starting out by getting his COVID shot, and then he's gonna fucking chillax. I think it was the first of two doses. Yeah, they gave me a little card that was like, make another appointment. Okay. Uh, kill 20 en enemies boosting nonstop. I kind of want to do that one. So we're not, we're not switching off yet. Hummingbird. We're just gonna keep boosting. I guess go up high. Yeah. And then sort of peter out. I guess I could also shoot if I wanted to. Didn't even really think about that. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that one was easy. Oh shit. Now time to die. All these moments. Oh god. <laughs> Fuck. Ha! Uh, you know, I had a dream a while back when they were announcing that there was like, there was a vaccine for COVID that was becoming available. It, I've had many anxiety dreams about COVID, but then when it was like, oh, the vaccine's being developed, I was like, ah, yes, and then I, eventually I had a dream that was like getting the shot, and then I very distinctly remember the doctor saying, you're cured, and I was like, yay, <laughs> even though I, I don't think I was ever sick with coronavirus. 
It was just like they put the shot and she was like, yeah, now you're cured. I remember specifically. They didn't say that. They didn't say that at the right aid, though. Unfortunately. Kill a battleship at max combo. Okay, I'm gonna switch out. <laughs> uh, normal. Yeah, let's go with this. Is each combination... No. No, never mind. Uh, kill a blimp to unlock this mission. Okay, I need to fucking unlock a... Unlock a couple missions here. I wonder if... Killing one blimp will unlock both of those missions. The missiles, you do have to aim them somewhat. Ooh. Why would I keep shooting then? I just was a pixel away from death. I am still g gonna continue to be a pixel away from death if I keep playing like this. Uh, oh, and there's a bunch of guys on my tail. I can't kill them. I, I, I don't know if I like the missiles. They're kind of slow, because it's, it's like... They don't even do that much damage on high-profile targets, and then on low-profile targets, it's like one missile per... plane. Which, when you can only have four of them out at once, is kind of goofy. Come on, kill the jet. No! Oh. Okay, let's try it one more time. And then I'm gonna switch off the missiles. It's like, if they did, m like, massive fucking damage to boats, then it would be worth it. But as it stands, it's kinda like, eh. Only having four on the screen at once is pretty debilitating. I think there should have been a higher max, perhaps. This game sucks! Anyone else think this game sucks? <laughs> <laughs> We're fine. Everything's fine. Got the tank mentality. Just bob up and down. This is this is how dogfighting was done in World War II, man. They couldn't stop you doing this shit. Oh god, they can. They can. Alright, I got the score though. At level 5. Explode on death. More impact damage. Nuke! Excuse me? Gotta try the nuke. Explode on death. On my death? Okay. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's go nuke something. I, I, how does this work though? Because it ends your round when you die. It's weird. But yeah, I think uh, the, the other major Vlambeer game that I will play is Nuclear Throne. Play that eventually, I probably won't get super into it. Maybe Lark and I will play it, it has co-op, right? Uh, but I also have Wasteland Kings, which is like the demo prototype for that uh, game, which was made in a game jam. I'm gonna do a stream eventually of like demos of games, and uh, Wasteland Kings will be in there. I remember they, they like, the whole game jam was themed around you, like, take suggestions. And, and, and they, they just got, people gave them random words to base their game around. And I think theirs was, like, nuclear warlord or whatever. Oh, shit. That was the nuke. Okay. Yeah, I've heard there's a lot of, like, obnoxious, like, Isaac-esque secret stuff in that game. Where it's like, you have to do these really obscure things to do alternate paths. The one I know about is, like, use the screwdriver on the car in the Triangle Guys level. The dude who raps about guns. 
and who has his own game. <laughs> Fuck. You know, I learned something recently about the lore of Beavis and Butthead. There's basically a Hank Hill prototype character in Beavis and Butthead that acts and, and behaves and, and looks very similar to Hank Hill, but he's a different character. It's just, I think they're based on the same real life person. Because the uh, heads up, something weird. Whoa. Oh my fucking god. They've got a laser too. Okay, it's over. What the fuck? Don't mess with the rouser. Oh ho ho. I forgot what I was even talking about because that was weird. Uh, no, it was uh, King of the Hill. And yeah, it's the same voice actor. And I think he says, like, I'll tell you what, and shit like that. Uh, but I think the I heard the original plan was for Hank Hill to be, like, Mr. Anderson's son or something like that. I forget the guy. I think it's Mr. Anderson. Like, Tom Anderson or some shit like that. Uh, and then also, on top of that, did you guys know that Daria is another Beavis and Butthead, like, spinoff? Which King of the Hill could almost be considered a Beavis and Butthead spin-off. And then Daria was a character on Beavis and Butthead before that was a show. Huh? Okay, anyway. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that was, by the way. Those laser guys? What the fuck was I supposed to do about that? That was a very difficult encounter. Um, yeah, by the way, I've had a few people ask this before. Can I put you in a, in, in a game as, like, an Easter egg or whatever? Sure. I, I have no problems with this. Blanket statement. Unless, uh, one stipulation, unless you're making an actual Nazi game. Not just a game about Nazis. Like a Nazi game, you know? Then I'm not huge on the idea. Oh. Oh, uh, okay. Stop shooting. Spin. Okay. Get out of here. Ooh. I like the laser. I really do. It, it has drawbacks, but I'm I'm into it. <gasps> I'm into it. I'm hip. Unnaturally bouncing in the air. Up, up. Ooh. Up, 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 up. The melee ship is also pretty great. That might be my other favorite. Oh, fuck! What just happened? Oh, I killed a battleship with that, though. Damn. Still gotta kill a blimp. I haven't, I haven't, like, seen one yet. Or at least I'm pretty sure I haven't. Maybe I missed it somewhere. <laughs> and just, it, I, I do like the way this game makes you feel like you're doing, like, dastardly air tricks. You know? It's like, ah, you, you cut the engine and dip down in the air in a free fall, and then you pull out right before you hit the water. It's like, ah, that's cool shit. And it's it's been, like, accurately video gamified. So that it still feels fun. Too. Oh. Yeah. Fuck. I've really been in the mood for these types of games lately. Like this and Celeste. Where, where half of the commentary is me going, Fuck! Or, oh god, ah. Hmm. Yeah, someone was saying that I, I was supposed to fight the blimp earlier. Fuck. Ooh. But, uh, I got, I got the rare laser guys instead, I guess. 
I, was I really not hitting it there? I think I am. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> the nuke. I keep forgetting I have a nuke body though. It, the second I find a blimp, it, it is gonna it is gonna get nuked to shit. Wow, that. Oh, it's a submarine that instantly goes into the water. I see. I was like, wow, it goes away right after the screen. After you leave the screen. Where'd it go, game designers? No, it's a submarine. Hmm. Fuck. Whoa. And then sometimes you just feel like a dopey, like, top in midair. Just twirling around. Trying to hit things. And to wipe the screen with your laser. Kill these guys. Oh god. Oh. Uh. I. Mmm. Kill it. Kill it. Die. Oh god. Oh god! I was so close. I guess I nuked it. I was so close to just living that, though. Kill 80 enemies after death. So, let's just ram into some shit. You know? Let's just, like, once there's a big cluster of enemies, let's just ram into something. And just nuke the hell out of them to unlock that thing. Yeah, so the, the name of the... I, for some reason I, I looked at it earlier and I was like, no, that's not a thing. But it is a thing. Your, your build name changes depending on... They're like custom to what kind of parts you're using, which is kind of cool. And the music does change, too. Which is pretty neat. That's, a, that's an interesting use of dynamic music. I don't know if I've ever seen something like that before in a game. <laughs> Try me, bitch. All that did was give me an X1 combo. Oh god. This may kill me, though. Just aim in their general direction, and then go in and just blast them. Ba -ba -ba. Yes! For the motherland! Do it! <laughs> okay. I guess... Uh, it wasn't even that good of like a cluster of enemies. Bum bum ba ba Bum ba bum Ah. So basically, I have junk rat bombs. Is what's going on here? Oh. Oh. But I feel like the the fastest way to get that achievement is just to throw away lives. You know, just getting a bunch of dudes with, uh, with your nuke bomb. Like, just hover here. I mean, honestly, that's a great way to get combo, too. Just sit here. Okay, don't hit bullets, though. That's not good. That's not what you want. I think it kills absolutely everything on the screen. Oh, we're getting there. I think it even kills things that are slightly off the screen. This is basically just a suicide mission now. Just go in and touch the fuck out of these ships. Didn't even kill them. <laughs> Imagine getting killed by a nuke, but just like not even by the nuke exploding, just by the physical body of the nuke hitting you. You know? It's like, damn, you fucked up. It, like, literally, a, they dropped a nuke on him. It didn't explode, it's just a massive metal thing. It still kills a person. Ah! Uh. Get these boats. Cute me. They did. 
kill me. They kill me. Gotta run into their bullets for them to kill me. But I kind of like also just getting the free combo for doing absolutely nothing. Okay, uh, the end is near. <laughs> that didn't even get that many. Oh, I did it though. Cool, what do I get? Kill five aces in total, alright, and next thing. <laughs> oh shit. I guess just we're done doing the suicide mission, is all. I'm not even gonna do that one. Two combo. Two combo! Actually, I think it is just time-based there too, because I didn't even stop shooting, and it still cut off my combo. Pinched it off, as they say. Pinched off the loaf that was that combo. Oh, shit. Damn, that was not an intentional death. Okay, I'm just gonna do a few more runs and then get the hell out of here and go edit Peggle 2. Missiles, spread, original. Let's do uh, laser, melee. I so wish you could do melee and tank, but uh, of course, of course that would be broken. <laughs> that would, that you'd just be invincible, basically, and do hyper damage to enemies. I guess you could still get killed by bullets, but that would be so broken. I'm lowering down my desk. Uh, do you think this game is worth the 10 bucks? Yeah, sure. If you're sketched out about it, then I guess wait for it to go on sale. I'm sure there's plenty of excellent sales these games. Whoa. Did I... Oh, did I choose the... The weird one? Fuck. Hold on. I didn't mean to do that. Chose the weird engine that I don't like. Uh, that's why when I boosted I was like, whoa! Because I wasn't expecting to go that fast. I was like, I guess that's just how fast I go? I don't know. Then I realized when I started turning. TURNING UP! This game's on bundles all over the damn place. This game's got some cool, like, uh, official art, too. There's just one really good piece of official art. Fuck. That, uh... It's just like, it's it's very much like the guy that goes, meah. In, in the, in the... Melancholy Hill music video, actually. It's just a goon-looking dude at the controls of this, like, crusty-looking airplane. really neat. Fuck. And I guess if you want to see me playing the original Left Trouser, uh, it's on the Flash Games spreadsheet. Which, that spreadsheet does not get a lot of love. <laughs> Nobody gives a shit about it. Nobody's, like, Googling whether I've played You Said a Meowth Full, you know? Or My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Adventure 3. Nice. That meaty multi-kill. Get him. Oh shit. Ah. I like the like marching sound effect in the music too. This game's definitely a lot more goofy than Papers Please. It's also completely different gameplay. Just like as disparate as it could fucking possibly be gameplay wise. <laughs> Time to murder some boats. Though. Cause that's the mission. It really did seem like it seemed like those bullets came out of nowhere. Cause they were like angled up. Coming out of the ocean. Well fuck. Ooh. 
Huh. E. Like, I know that's the same kind of bullets that these little boats fire, but I just feel like s sometimes they'll show up in ways that, like, the angle doesn't make sense. Oh! If a blimp shows up and I die, is it like I have to wait till the next chance to get it, or will it just be there now? I have to get it when it's there. It sucks. I kind of want to nuke it is the thing. So I may switch to the nuke body. It's not that different from the normal body, actually. Oh, fuck. Stop shooting. Stop shooting. Fuck. Uh, yes, I do own fruit salad, by the way. <clears throat> that is my channel. <laughs> Someone said they were stealing my videos earlier, and I thought that was a joke. But I guess I, I can see I just get confused there. Oh yeah, that's my channel. I do that. It's a bit of extra work to upload the VODs, actually, but uh, it's not too much trouble. <laughs> oh! My method of playing this game feels so crude. I do feel like I'm supposed to be making more passes, but instead I just sort of bob in the air. Nice. No water damage. More top cloud damage. Oh. I didn't even realize the clouds on the top did damage. Slower acceleration. Let's try this. Fuck the nuke body. Or no, nuke body water engine. Oh, but I, I kind of want to do water and melee. Whatever. Stick with the nuke, because I want to bomb the thing. Alright. So, uh, I don't take damage at all in the water. Damn. That's pretty awesome. So I really can just skip now. The skip scramble. Do not order the skip scramble. <laughs> oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh god, I'm getting all hilter kilter here. <laughs> I'm just killing boats, baby. while a million things fire behind me. Oh god. Okay, time to kill him. Yeah! Meaty combo. Let's fucking go. Good combo. E. Nice, that is so good. Oh! Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in! Come on! Get his ass! Oh! Oh, fuck. Oh. Just barely killed me. But I nuked everyone. Hooey! And I killed an ace through that, I think. Those big guys are aces. Uh. Okay. Well. Is there like an exact, like, is there a number of points where the blimp will show up, or what? Somebody said it was when you kill a certain number of dudes. Is that like in one life, or like cumulatively? Is it like you need a godlike run in order to uh, encounter the blimp? Fuck. Because I don't know if we're going to see that, if that's the case. 
<laughs> oh. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, sure. Just keep him coming. Yep. Yep. Murder. Oh, God. Murder. Oh. Oh. Murder. Die! Okay, whoa, that was weird. The screen, like, moved over to look at the thing dying. Kind of threw me off. Okay, god damn it, I'm about to die. Okay. Ooh, underwater superiority! I think, I guess I just killed a submarine. <laughs> <laughs> or no, that's for scoring a certain amount with the aqua ship, I think. Hooey! I need to kill two battleships for the blimp to spawn. Hey. I don't know about that. Let's keep this current body. Because I want to get that achievo. Kill ten in a row, fighters only. Oh. Fightersonly.com. Kill five aces total. Underwater engine. Actually, I think I dig this. Yeah, the missiles, if the missiles were like better at seeking, then they'd be really good. The swordfish. So maybe not, but I have to, I have to stay on the nuke body to get this Chivo. Ah. Thank you. So just let a bunch of them chase you and wipe across the screen. Yeah. Oh, kill ten in a row, fightersonly.com. Nailed it. Oh god. Oh. Die. Please die. For me? Oh god. Huh. Oh god. Oh! Die! Please! Oh! I nuked it. Whatever. It's not two battleships, I'm being informed. Bomb! Drop bombs, but he keeps on forgetting. Selected from the hangar. Oh, new body mode. Question mark. Excuse me? Oh, look at that. Wait, what? There's like a skull lock. Was it just telling me about the body Ventura? Also, it's different from Nuke. Find out what the hell this is. Oh, I see. So it's like the one that shoots, but it drops bombs. Uh, just idly. Weird. I unlocked random body. Oh, I see. My bad. Ah. I think in the background you can kind of see like the ships that are approaching too. Is there a blimp up there? Ba -ba 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 -boop. Pretty cool, pretty cool. <gasps> I'm dead. Okay. That was bad. Holy Diver. Holy Diver! What even band is that? I just know to make that silly voice. I don't even know that band. Holy Diver! Fuck. Dio. That's like, right. I should know this, because that's why the world has a, uh, a scuba tank on it. It's Holy Diver. I think. Something like that. I, I may be pulling that out of my ass. I don't know if that's a legit thing, but I, I think I remember hearing that. Fuck. 
bomb five boats. I think the aces show up when you get a high combo, too. Get him. Yeah, oh my god, it insta-kills a boat! What the fuck? Damn. It's pretty good. I think the, the water one I might actually ditch. We'll see. Fuck. Okay, just laser it. Fuck it. Die. There's one part in like the Sephiroth... Oh god. Smash Bastards. Where Andrew just like let off one of the Sep Sephiroth projectiles. And he just said, DIE! Like a movie villain. I was like, damn, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Die! Reminded me of Reaper. Alright, come on. Fuck. Oh! Oh, what was that? The camera moved. It freaked me out. To show it was showing me that that battleship died. I sunk their battleship. Who who am I fighting? The, a the Axis allies? Who? I don't even know. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I bombed five boats! Uh, I love when, like, when you survive for long enough, the cool music comes in, you feel like a badass. Kill 30 enemies firing non-stop. Alright. Let's do it. Actually, that's such a bad idea. How am I gonna do this? Because I can bomb those things idly, but otherwise... I'm not going to be able to deal with taking any damage. I guess I'm, I'm landing kills with the boats! Well. Um, so that's the... Okay. That's just the bomb thing, so I can change out my weapon for that. Maybe, like, spread shot would be better for that? I don't know. So I might be able to kind of cheese this just by killing a bunch of normal plain dudes, you know? Oh god. With my spread shot. Max combo. I'm kind of reckon. I should play stupid more often. Uh-oh. Hey! Oh, that was killing Ace at max combo. Did I bomb it? I didn't even see the Ace, and I killed it. What the fuck? I unintentionally murdered one of the harder enemies in the game. <gasps> About to die. There we go. What the fuck? That was lucky. Uh... So, I think I can continue the firing non-stop thing. It doesn't need to be, like... It doesn't need to be in one go. Like I thought. So I don't need to play stupid. I play normal. And then still die. If it does, that sucks. <laughs> It's just like a, uh, you got this far so far. That kind of stinks. I didn't even get like halfway there. So I don't know about that one. Fam. Erm, um, Grapefruit, it's called a challenge. Uh, explain that to the game designers who put other challenges in the game where you can just do it cumulatively. Isn't that a thing? Haven't we seen ones like that? This is not... a thing.
I actually don't know if, it, like, the score over a certain amount, that one's not cumulative. I actually don't know. No, uh, some of them are in total. Yeah. Yeah. The cumulative ones say in total. Yeah. Oh, okay, fuck it. Oh god, it's like every time an attempt goes sour, you can just heal and then try from the beginning, I guess. <laughs> e. I love how I just idly kill boats like this. Just without even really paying attention. Yep, okay, someone's dead. Okay. The bombs are pretty good. They do the amount of damage that I would want the missiles to do. Well, I mean, if the missiles did that much damage, they'd be fucking OP. But, you know what I mean. Okay, get away from this boat. Get away from this boat. Okay. Ooh. Oh, shit. I should have just reset it. Meow. Hmm. Good. Let's, let's go ahead and heal. Okay, good. Good. Let's go ahead and die. Um, okay, fuck doing that. Let's play just a couple more with, uh, my preferred build. Let's, uh, I kind of like the meme nuke. I, I kind of like it. And then I, I like the laser. The meme nuke body. Because that means if the blimp shows up, then I can kill the blimp with it. But if the blimp doesn't show up, then that's also fine. Birds. The birds are singing. The birds. I'm just gonna, like, not fuck around with the boats. Kill dudes in the air. E. I don't know. Those are some toxic clouds up there, I guess, that, that destroy earthly lungs. Oh! Okay. Nice. Pretty cool stuff. Oh! Sorry, I, like, freaked out there. There was a lot of boats. That's all. Die. Die. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Ah. That was quite the spread. Ah, oh, sad. You got nuked, fools. <laughs> 140 enemies in total. Bouncing. Just bounce. The ultimate strategy. <laughs> oh god. Just remain balletically suspended in the air. Like a kite. Like a hummingbird. One of them was called the hummingbird. This is the way. This is the way. Truly the way. Yep. Can't do anything about this. Actually, they can. They very much can. <laughs> They're having difficulties with it currently. Oh god. Oh. 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 Now I'm having difficulties because this guy showed up. This guy put a wrench in my plans to cheese the game. Die. Oh, no! <sighs> oh! Oh, I killed him eventually. That'll get the achievement, I think. No? So sad. Oh, 
on the game's website, they let you buy 101 copies of the game at once for $749. It's called the Air Raid Pack. <laughs> Just get a hundred of your friends together and all agree. It's like, hey, you want to check out this cool game? All right, we'll split these on it. It's like buying a ton of weed. I mean, uh, groceries. And then splitting them among your parents. Because you buy groceries. Uh, anyway. That was like back in the day when weed was not legal to purchase. Or it was, I was too young, I guess. It's been legal in Washington for quite some time. Ooh. The, uh... What was the game that had... There was, there was a game that was like... We're gonna have this, set, this game on sale by like 99% for five years, and then we're gonna take it off sale, and the original price was like $500 or some shit like that. And so now, if you go try to buy this game, it's called like Laser Joust or some shit like that. Uh, then it, it is $500 or some shit like, it's like $100, maybe. Maybe not $500. But it's like a ridiculous price for this game, because they did that sale thing, they said they were gonna do it, and then they did it. And now it's just 500 bucks, or, you know, whatever ridiculous price. Fuck! I'm dead. Huh. Alright, what do we get? Kill a blimp. Ah! I don't know if this is gonna happen. We haven't seen a blimp in quite some time. Inspector. But, uh, I, I had a nice time. Let's play a little more. It is addictive. Carve the clouds. Look at that. <laughs> That's kind of a neat effect. There's a water effect and a cloud effect. My friends call me Cloud. E. For 20! Weed, weed, weed! Good. My my brain is is becoming numb though to the action that I'm being subjected to. Uh, no. Oh. oh. Oh, did I get it? Did I get that big battleship? Holy fuck, I think I did it. Nice. Oh god. Oh. Yoy. Okay. Yikes. At least I survived past the cool music part. There you go. <laughs> I was like, I now I can die. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna kill a blimp. I think we're good. We only got to see one blimp. And then I guess I got a low chance, uh, or a, uh, low likelihood alternate encounter. Uh, but no! <clears throat> I'm done. No more game. You know, like two hours out of this. It's a fun game. It's fun, but it's it's bite size. And likely I will uh, I, I will not play it again. But it's neat. Good stuff. I don't know. Gl glowing marks, except for the fact that it's a Nazi game. See my stats. There we go. Brilliant. Loved playing it while ignoring lectures. Yeah, for me it was Race the Sun. Which is a similar, that's a plain game. That was a good, like, time killer in school. Yeah. Fun stuff. And the Flash version's good, too. And it's got a hot lady! Oh. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna go edit Peggle 2. See you guys later.